The world of sermon prep is about a six-stage process for me. First, there's the ideation stage. This is the, I know what I've got to preach on, but what am I going to say? Like, what are the ideas? And I've got, you know, a 30-minute sermon, roughly. So how much, how many ideas can I cover in that much time? And gosh, what's the Bible say about this? And so it's a blank pages trying to figure it all out. Stage two, things are happening. This is kind of the ideation, kind of everything just starts happening. And it's like, ooh, I know, what about this? And there's that. And so you see the idea column increases. And so you start going, oh, I, I feel we got a train going here. This is exciting. Ooh, yeah, this is going to work. Then comes stage three. This is the uh-oh stage because now there's so many ideas. Note the trend line here that you suddenly realize what I've got going here is about a three-hour sermon. And that's a problem, because I'm white, and I can't get away with that. Which inevitably leads to the painful process of stage four. This is when tears are shed, and things are thrown away, as you nix that, skip this, save this for later, and go, oh well. And the ideas get trimmed back down to the world of, of normalcy. Stage five is the kind of final distillation and is the asking is this really enough and in reality it's it's this feels like i've trimmed it down to a 10 minute devotional i mean is this enough i mean the bible says so much is that going to really be enough for people and then stage six delivery and somehow between stage five and stage six you end up with wow did that really take 40 minutes Uh uh-oh someone tell the folks in the nursery i love them and uh We'll see you guys next week. Today, I'm somewhere between stage four, the Willie Nash of Teeth, and stage five. Pray for me and all those wonderful nursery workers that I don't make them mad on Sunday.